I don't even let people, like in my mastermind form, I don't even let people answer questions that, that aren't me. Because, why? Because I have the best optimal answers. Is that arrogant? Is that egotistical? No. I have the data and the experience. I have 13,500 phone numbers in my phone. It's a lot of data. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle and today I want to talk about the fact that pickup artistry and the seduction game is a skill game, okay, a skill game that can be learned and you can improve your skill level at it. Some people say that it's all looks or all looks money status or some guys are just born that way or etc. And I want to uh, actually go against those arguments and provide argument that this is a skill game. So before we continue, if you're not yet a subscriber, this channel provides no BS, straightforward, practical advice to get you very good at the dating game very fast. You can please click the subscribe button. If you're not yet a subscriber, press the notification bell for new videos every single day of the week, okay? And also, if you wanna get very, very good at the game, please jump on a free 30-minute dating call uh, link in the description for that where I'll teach you how to get very good very fast, okay? So I just have a genetic knack for getting very, very good at skill games, okay? I remember in about seventh grade, I was in a typing class. I broke the, the record for hitting 60 words per minute um, very quickly, I think within like a, a week or two. And then I hit the 100 words per minute mark not too soon after that and they were, everyone was shocked I, I broke all these records. I got very, very good at StarCraft and StarCraft 2, which is one of the premier real-time strategy games. The, for those of you that know about that game, they had like the, the people in, the, in Korea, in, in South Korea were some of the best players in the world and I was trashing, dominating all those guys. I got very good at the game very fast. There's certain moves that are preferable to others and I see everything very, very, very systematically. It's just a, a nice genetic thing I was born with. And I was able to analyze the shit out of everything. Okay, so I was able to optimize strategy and very quickly rise to the top of that. Okay, and then I did the same thing with chess. And I did the same thing with poker. With poker, I read like seven different books on strategy, mostly tournament strategy and this and that. And then I was able to implement a lot of that stuff on the first time I went and entered a big tournament. I was in a tournament with hundreds of people and I ended up down to the top three people. This is a true story. Down to the top three people and I had the chip lead. You know, I had the most chips. And I hadn't adjusted in mentally because all the probabilities and odds change and the strategy changes when you're down to a short amount of people. Okay, there's a lot more bluffing and people being using aggression to, to make strong moves. And I let them like walk over the top of me and, and folded to a lot of their bluffs. Wasn't calling them enough on their shit. And when you're down to three people, a lot of times you're not going to have a hand. And long story short, I ended up taking third place, which was disappointing. But then, but I made the adjustments. In the next tournament, I was able to place first. Okay. So that, and, and I carried that on for a while. And I did this with stock trading. I read books on quantitative technical analysis, and I was able to very quickly start to see how the patterns and how stocks are moving, et cetera, et cetera. And I've I've been able to do this with all kinds of things. And when I finally came upon the game. Okay, well actually a tiny bit more background first. I studied computer science and philosophy as my undergraduate for bachelor's. And then for master's degrees I did, so I had two bachelor's, computer science and philosophy with a minor in cognitive science. I did a double master's in human computer interaction and philosophy of cognitive science. And I did the bachelor's degree and I shaved a couple years off the time for graduating. Both master's degrees I did in half the time. So I had two master's and two bachelor's degrees by age 23. And then the original plan was I was going to go to law school for three years, have my JD by 26, and I was going to do a PhD program in the UK at Edinburgh in Scotland in philosophy of mind, and I was going to have, and you can do that in three years in the UK, um, so I was going to end up with PhD by 29. So by 29 I was, I was envisioning PhD, JD, MA, MA, BS, BA, you know, minor. So like all this shit before 30, that, that was like the grand plan. But I ended up taking a job after the second master's program working on nuclear, biological, and chemical missile defense, which is arguably one of the most important jobs anyone could ever have. So I was working for the Maritime Systems, what's it, what, was, what the fuck was it called? Maritime Systems and Sensors, uh, which was like the premier thing for the Navy. Okay, and for those of you that know anything about the branches of the Armed Forces, with the Marines, Army, Navy, Air Force, etc., I thought the Navy guys were kind of like pussy-like with the sailor outfits and this and that, and they, they seemed to like not be as macho as like the Marines and guys in the Army. But what I came to learn is that since the Earth is two-thirds water, and most big populations are on coastal areas, and the ships have long range, the ships are some of the most instrumental, pe instrumental pieces of our defense against ballistic missiles, nuclear, biological, and chemical missile defense, that is for the US and our allies. And I was able to drive in some key improvements that made a huge difference. So I won these massive awards by, uh, I think I was about 26, 
26 years old, 26 or 27. And these were like awards that were reserved only for people typically at the end of their careers. And you know, they gave me a thousand dollars and taxed it. So it was like $667, woohoo, right? So I did that for about four or five years. Then I went on to work for IBM. I was in charge of a big team, okay, for one of IBM's most important projects. And then I worked for Sony and for Hewlett Packard. Okay, well, both brief stints in Sony and Hewlett Packard. I was fired for, you know, coming in late and, and missing meetings and stuff like that because I was getting heavy into the pickup and dating stuff and it's hard to juggle both those things. After I got fired from Hewlett Packard, I just went into all out embracing the dating stuff. But when I came upon the game, okay, and I read the book, The Game and Mystery Method, it blew my mind because first of all, I didn't know there could be a method to the madness with all this social stuff. But I was able to see social dynamics kind of like a chess game or a poker game where you have moves that are going to lead to more favorable outcomes or, or what they call EV, expected value. So there are moves that are preferable to others. And for those of you, I'll defute, um, refute this right now. For those of you that, are, that believe that this game is all like 100% looks, for instance, okay? First of all, I can show you plenty of good looking guys that aren't getting laid. I, I get them as clients and I know them personally, okay? And I can show you plenty of people that aren't attractive getting laid, okay? That doesn't mean looks don't matter. They do help, but the, the correct move is to maximize your sexual market value and then not worry about it. Not go into a, a toxic looks max forum or black pill community where everyone's chad worshiping and calling each other, you know, having a weak jawline and you need to do mewing and like all this other fucking weird shit. Okay, and, and a bunch of guys insulting each other. It's making guys uh, feel depressed and inadequate and, and largely just making them feel hopeless and like they have the odds stacked against them, so why try? It's, it's handicapping them in their mind. So that, that stuff's largely unproductive. So let me refute this though. Is there better texts to send to a girl than, than others? Of course. Are there better ways to make your pictures better? than to just put up pic random pictures on online dating? Of course. Are there better ways to run your public date? Are there better ways to do your closing sequence at the house? Are there better ways to answer objections? When she, uh, objections to going home with you? Objections to giving the phone number? Objections to kissing you? Objections to whatever, to, to sticking around on the date? Uh, than others? Of course. Is there better ways to approach a girl than others? Of course. So not only are there better ways to do everything in the game from a macro level, but there's also better ways to do everything in the game from a micro level. And so this is largely a system. So I, I went through the Mystery Method book and I thought it was amazing. And I listened to it on audiobook countless times while at work, when I had those corporate jobs, in my car, to and from work, walking around. I listened to it over and over and over. And I remember the first time I went out and implemented uh, Mysteries method, okay, and I'll put my first field report, the link to my first field report in the description. You're going to want to check that out. It's very detailed and intricate, but I was implementing, I think I got like three makeouts, maybe more, I think like five phone numbers or something like this, and almost got a phone number off a full package stunner, okay, or at least at least a hot, hot stunner. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know too much about her internals at that point, but I was implementing all the advanced stuff in his book out of the gate, just like I did in poker where I was able to implement all the advanced strategies out of the gate. So I'm able to very quickly learn a skill game, very quickly rise to the top of it. And then, and this was back like 11 years, 12 years ago. This was back in like 2009 that I, that I did my first interaction with Mystery Method. And now over the past decade, I've relentlessly optimized it. Okay, so in 2012, I was in a forum called Top Beasts, which was, which was supposed to be the top 30 best pickup artists in the world at that time. And I befriended all those guys and vacuumed up all the different knowledge of what each person was doing, found the common overlapping key areas, and then I was able to form the basis of my system. And I also brought in key things from Mystery Method and some other things from Naturals and this and that. And then over the rest of the years, I've just been constantly scanning the system for weak spots, for sub-optimizations, and constantly looking for people that are better than me at any area, which doesn't really happen much in the past years, but it did happen before. Who's better than me in night game, than day game, than online game? Who's better at texting? Who's better at keeping the girl around? Who's better at closing? Who's better at running their dates? Okay. Who's better at objection handling? Who's better at vibing? All the different pieces. I wanted to find people that were better than me rather than taking the approach that most guys take in the forums, 99% of them, which is to trash the top guys and try to talk shit and try to disagree with them. I would contact them personally and I was all ears. Okay, I wanted to learn. And it's funny too, because I have guys that contact me, like some of the guys that are like most motivated to get better are guys that are like 200 count or 300 count. They come to me and they're like, 
dude, I want to like learn everything you know and like this and that. And these are guys that have been with two or three hundred girls, which is very rare in the community. And how do they get to two or three hundred girls with that exact mindset? They're humble and they want to just keep learning from the best people. Okay, and, they, and they're not afraid to, to ask for help. And of course, they respect guys like myself. Then you take a two or three lay count retard that would just rather talk shit, disagree, and say that he knows better when I provide answers, even though I can do his lay count, you know, probably in any given day within like five, six hours. Okay, I could, I could either go out on the street or hop on Tinder and bang those two or three girls and in probably five or six hours, okay, or set up a couple dates and just close them out very quickly. It, it's a night and day difference in skill there. Okay, but that guy and most other guys in the forums <clears throat> are gonna try to just troll and talk shit and disagree with the advice and not show respect to the guys that have accomplished the most. Okay, not just that that, that should be, you know, that that's the big point here. The point is they can learn a lot from a guy like myself. Okay, I don't even let people, like in my mastermind forum, I don't even let people answer questions that, that aren't me. Why? Because I have the best optimal answers. Is that arrogant? Is that egotistical? No. I have the data and the experience. I have 13,500 phone numbers in my phone. It's a lot of data. I don't know how many approaches I've done, but I have 1,337 full closes. And I didn't track non-sexual hookups. Okay, so if I pulled a nine from a club and got a blowjob and I couldn't close and I never closed it, that never was reflected in my lay count. Okay, so that 1,337 is actually, and there was plenty of polls that fell apart at the last second. Okay, there's all these logistical things that can happen where the friends, you know, come and grab them before the cab or like th something comes up. Okay, with all that volume of closes, there's also a whole volume of like very close closes. Okay, that, that didn't actually pan out or not, all these non-sexual hookups, blowjobs, handjobs, you know, even makeouts, etc. that didn't close. None of that's reflected in my, in my count. Okay, so... What I'm trying to say here is there's a, an actual system to this. And if you've been watching some of the reviews on my channel lately that I've been posting, where guys have gone, gone from one to six lays in one and a half weeks, that's five girls, one and a half weeks, starting from one lay count, and two of those girls were a threesome. Put the thumbnail up for that. We had a guy go from uh, virgin to five lays, or sorry, vir yeah, virgin to five lays in three weeks. Okay, five lays in three weeks. I had another virgin that was from the UK, a 28 year old that had taken six training programs, three from RSD, one from Natural Lifestyles, one from uh, Todd V, and one some other company. Nobody got him laid, what a surprise. Okay, and then I got him laid on day four and he ended up with eight new girls by the end of the eight weeks. I keep doing this time and time and time again. I put a lot of guys on track to do 50 to 100 girls a year. And guys are always saying, how is this possible? It's very fucking simple and very straightforward and very easy. I plug them into an optimized system that I cultivated over the course of 15 to 20 years. If you read my field report that I did in 2009 and you see how I'm implementing all the most advanced parts of mystery method 12 years ago, okay, and I was get, turning guys into beasts once I started coaching in 2012, even in 2012 and 2013, I got guys extremely good. What do you think I'm capable now of now in 2021, okay? This is why you're seeing virgins come on and get more lays in a month or two than, the, than advanced guys in the game that have been doing this for a decade, okay? This is why almost everyone that comes in and does the work and, and doesn't fucking skip all the fucking calls and, and not do the, the content and then just bitch that he's not getting women because he's lazy. If they come in and do the work, they're getting extremely good and they're set for life, okay? I just put out a testimonial video that showed like four different testimonials of guys coming through my course. Everyone's saying it's very straightforward, it's very systematic, it's very easy to assimilate. You don't need a thousand approaches, you don't need a thousand nights out, you don't need months or years of practice. You just need to be plugged into an optimized system. So if you want to master that system and get very good at it very fast, jump on a free 30 minute call, link is in the description, and I'll show you how you can get you very good very fast and take you from A to Z and you will never have to worry about this problem again, okay? So if you are interested in that, please jump on that free 30 minute call. And also please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, link in the description. But this is the, the way to master it. When I plug guys into that course, I'm showing them here's all the control paths for when you get a match to get a phone number. You just follow those scripts, copy paste. You don't have to do any more online game messaging yourself. Here's all the text messages that you send going from a phone number to a date with all the control paths and all the objection answers. You never have to text anything on your own again. I'm gonna optimize your profile with you. I'm gonna have you get a pro photo shoot, have a team of girls pick the top five and then we're gonna face app and Photoshop your pictures. We're gonna give you really optimized pictures. I'm gonna help you write your bio. I write the bio for you. And then 
Now you have a clear path to get a stream of dates. Then I'm going to show you how to run your dates exactly structurally, how to close your dates exactly structurally, how to retain your girls exactly structurally. And I'm going to show you exactly how to run your night game and day game interactions so you can build in more lead flow and get pulls from those areas. And then you have a complete system. And anywhere you run into problems, I know the quick fixes to them very fast because I've been coaching this for over a decade. And I have helped thousands of guys around the world and I know most problems you guys run into and I know how to fix them very fast. So do not delay, jump on that free 30 minute call. I hope to speak to some of you soon and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.